everyone and welcome to Great Day Houston. So many students have already started school, but this morning the nation's seventh largest school district and the largest in Texas, Houston ISD, started classes. You probably know that because you were in traffic. The district <laughs> is hoping to empower 215,000 students through education. Meanwhile, we have a surprise guest who will be here in just a minute. We'll tell you how he's helping kids as well. And some of that power behind that effort is coming from Reliant. Joining us with details, please welcome Leanne Schneider. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Thank you. When I talk about some of that power, I do a lot of nonprofit work, and so many times I walk into the room, and what I see is the Reliant table, the Reliant donation, the Reliant signage in the room. This is so important to you all. It really is. Reliant uh, powers many people's homes and businesses in the state of Texas, but we really believe in being a positive force in the community and really giving back to where we live and work in our local communities. Yes. And yeah, so many times we yes. look at a, at a company as an inanimate object, right? Uh, but it's made up of people, and your people are the driving force, the volunteers behind so many things including a back to school projects that you were involved in that's right so we have a back to school program that we've been doing since 2011 across the state and since 2011 we've donated over three hundred thousand dollars worth of school supplies to children across the state and um, it's anywhere from Corpus Christi, Dallas, Fort Worth, and then of course here in our home city of Houston. Yeah. And this year alone, we, this is, um, we've done 15 events and we've donated 9,000 back to school supplies. Wow. Just this year. Okay, and, and also your, your folks serve as big brothers, big sisters, they serve as mentors. That's right, we have uh, the number, I think about 20 or 30 big brothers and big sister mentors that alone this year. We've been doing that also for a number of years. Wow. You all are putting on the full court press to do good things <laughs> in the community aren't you? We are. Speaking We're of, here to put on the full court press in Houston as well, please welcome Rocket Center, Clint Capella. Yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Clint. How good morning. You? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, were you that tall kid in school? I've always been tall. Uh, You're born tall? I was born pretty tall, always the tallest in my class. So <laughs> I've learned to, to, to be tall. Yeah. yeah, in fact, I think we have a picture of this tallness. Do we have a picture, a school picture here? School picture? Oh, <laughs> look at you right there. What are you doing right there? What are you doing right there? <laughs> it was probably like a cooking class. Always. <laughs> but wh what, about your, what about yours now? Oh, my school picture? Yes. We don't try to show those. <laughs> <laughs> but, but somehow I think there's one there. Hey, there oh. we go. Speaking back to school days, uh, for you, what was life like growing up? Um, I've never really liked it. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> During the summer, I was just uh, that kid that liked to play outside, um, video games, stuff like that. So I was just being like a regular kid. Yeah, regular kid. But was, was life Kinda. a little struggle at some times in your family? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't easy. Um, I grew up with a, a single mom uh, and my two big brothers. Uh, we grew up in the in a foster care boarding school, so uh, uh, been out with my family for like seven years, from six to thirteen. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you, you, your parents were from the Congo, but you ended yeah. up in Switzerland. Yeah, grew up, uh, born and raised in Switzerland. Yes. Ah, very cool. Okay, for you, what was school life like? School life, uh, I, I moved a few times when I was yeah. younger, and yeah. I always was the new kid that nobody knew. Y you and I would have been friends. And I was five it, elementary schools. It, <laughs> yeah. it, it was really tough sometimes, right, being the, the new kid. And my mom was also a single parent for a few years, and so it was tough sometimes getting everything that you needed yeah. to get back to school. Which is the reason why you two really understand the importance of what's happening here with this partnership. So, Clint, tell us about your organization and what you do for kids. So my organization uh, is to, to, to help kids or uh, old friends and uh, single parent kids uh, to provide them uh, just to uh, be ready uh, to go back to school. Um, Reliance has been, has been helping me uh, doing this. So um, uh, yesterday we did a, a shopping spree. I gave a, I gave a $300 gift card to every kid. Oh, yeah. so uh, we went to, uh, to Walmart and uh, I've been helping them to, to, to get ready to go back to school. Yeah, and what is so great about what, what you all do, as I mentioned earlier, I see you, you know, at all these nonprofit events, is that um, no one person can do it all, but if we join forces, we can do so much more. And so that's the reason why you all decided to partner up here. Yes, well, uh, as soon as I learned that Clint had developed a new foundation, I was so excited when they approached me to be on the board, the foundation board, because we've been a partner with Clint for the past three years, Reliant, mm -hmm. and we've done a number of things, including Barbara Bush Book Drive and different things. So we've partnered for three years on this. So bringing all this together, um, really made sense for Reliant as a company and me. I'm very passionate about what Clint's 
Clint's about and what Clint's causes are about. Yeah. So it was very important for Thank me you. to be a part of that and help with that mission. And Clint, oftentimes we think we're doing something for the kids or for someone else, and then you get home and you realize how much they did for us. What is it like for you to be there, to be able to gift those kids that gift card and see them shopping? Uh, it's just so awesome. It's just, um, as a kid, I wish that I, I, had, I had the chance to, to have someone to go do my, my shopping spree for school with and mm -hmm. uh, just to be there for kids. They were, they were all excited. Uh, it was it was really a, a moment that I really enjoyed. Yeah, and then took a load off for a lot of parents. Yes, I mean we were we were yeah thirty kids and uh, I was just helping around. Uh, they were all excited and uh, they were all smiles and me too. Yeah, and Leanne, what's it like for you? It was really great to see the ch the children and just loading up their g the, the, well. First of all, when he walked into our breakfast, the the lo surprise looks on their face yeah. was <laughs> like nothing you have ever seen. And then the when tallest we kid in the room, right? Now <laughs> they were doing the shopping spree, right? Um, they just were so excited, and he was helping them pick out notebooks and socks. I remember one was socks mm, and yeah. just you know all, all the essentials that people take for granted. But um, as a parent. I just went back to school shopping for my children. It's expensive, yes. and there's a lot of places you have to go to get all the things put back to, you know, get everything put together yeah. and so creating this memorable experience for these 30 big brothers big sisters students um, that on top of being a, you know getting what they need to get back to school but the experience I mean who gets to go shopping with Clint Capella yeah to right. back to school. I mean honestly you right? know all of them are bragging today <laughs> right yeah. thank you Clint told me this shirt looked good on me <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. he picked right? this one out for me it's, that's pretty cool it was incredible and we were just so ex reliant was just so excited to be a part of it and Clint is really uh, He's so passionate about giving back, and it really partners up well with who we are. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, let's talk a little rockets. Is James Harden asking about me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to? Um, the season, uh, training camp, um, we have new players, uh, Russell Westbrook, everybody knows about that. I'm just really excited to go back at it. Um, we're all excited. Uh, we're working out. We, we, we're getting ready. We, at what point? <laughs> it's one thing to be tall, but not all tall people are great at basketball. <laughs> at what, yeah, 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 every, can, but at what that. point did you realize that you were better than good? Uh, so, first of all, when I, I got drafted to the NBA. Yeah, that would tell you something. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care where you went in the NBA round, you, there's no slackers, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. And uh, especially whenever uh, I first got drafted, the team was already pretty good. They've been in the playoffs. It was like a top, like top four team in the NBA. And then through the year, I started uh, getting more and more minutes as a rookie. And uh, in the playoffs, I, I started uh, backing up the, the center before me, Dwight Howard. So this is when I really realized that at my age, I was 20. I was already able to, to help a, a top, top four team in the NBA. And this is when I realized that. When you were a little kid, you say, when I grow up, I want to be... A soccer player. A soccer player. <laughs> a soccer player. You know, that's yeah. what, when you grew up in Europe, like, we, we just... The other soccer, football. It, the other football. Right. Just, yeah. Just say about, yeah. Yeah, Leanne, for you, when you were little, you said, when I grow up, I want to be... I wanted to be an astronaut at one point. Oh. Ah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I was going to be a pediatric neurosurgeon specializing in cryosurgery, but I became a talk show host instead. <laughs> 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 this way I don't hurt anybody, <laughs> okay? Um, but uh, there are a lot of kids we know who say, I want to be a basketball player, I want to be a football player, I want to be a soccer player. They want to be all those other things, football, whatever. Um, but education is important to have, yes. and your advice to those kids who want to be a you when they grow up. Definitely. Uh, education before. Uh, of course, I've always wanted to play soccer and then later on basketball um, but like school really helped me to like uh, be able to communicate um, like I grew up of course um, uh, speaking French as a first language but um, speaking English now uh, it's, it's been really useful for me so I'm pretty grateful that I've been in school <laughs> yeah yeah all right well merci beaucoup for coming in this morning uh, thank you very much again for what Reliant does in our community outside of uh, powering our community they power our community in a whole different way and when I'm at the game Okay, I'll be wearing your jersey and stuff. Oh, I'll be, oh yeah. yeah. Can you just do a little <laughs> yeah, shout out? Yeah, just a little, a little shout, shout out, out there, out. right? There you go. Just, just know that I'm there. Okay. Well, for more information okay. on Reliant and their continuing program to power forward, visit Reliant.com slash community.